welcome to this episode of Keys Corner. Appreciate you posting up with your boy. Although this ain't an episode of Keys Corner. So I decided what I'm gonna do is uh, while I'm taking a break in between seasons, um, shooting episodes of Keys Corner, um, one of the things I'm gonna do to start uh, keeping a little bit of content out there in between is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take the Keys Clubhouse segment that I was throwing in a lot of the episodes. That's the segment where I talk about just sports. And I'm gonna just start doing a standalone, uh, a standalone episode every week of Keys Clubhouse where I'm talking about just straight sports and take that, um, take that segment out of the show. Um, it's still a segment I really want to do because I love talking about sports. So this is just the way that uh, I could give sports the proper just do the, the sports talk the proper just do that it is. Um, now before I get started, you're probably wondering about the kick of the day. I may not always have the kick of the day for Keys Clubhouse, but the kick of the day today, no. Before anybody tries to joke and clown on me, these are not my shoes. Um, I decided to do my son's Jordan 1s uh, as the kick of the day up here. That's my little tribute to him because he just outgrew his very first pair of Jordans. So I'll do those back there and that's gonna be your kick of the day for today. But uh, what I wanted to do, I wanted to uh, put this uh, Keys Clubhouse out there last week. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about is nothing but just straight up fighting this week. Um, boxing and UFC kicked off what's pretty much going to be a strong finish for both boxing and MMA for the rest of the year. That's one of the good things that happened because of uh, COVID, probably one of the only things, good things that happened because of COVID. Because of COVID, a lot of fights got um, canceled and delayed earlier in the year, and now they're all finishing, uh, they're all pretty much rescheduled here for the end of the year. Um, so pretty much every weekend there's going to be a good-ass fight. Um, you saw it last week with... Um, with Usman, the Usman fight in UFC, which was a great fight. Um, really interested to see where he goes next. Um, I really don't see a whole lot of competition for him. Uh, I just think he's on a whole other level, but he can be beat. Uh, I just, I don't know who will, who will be the one to dethrone him, uh, but I do see it happening. On the other hand, um, the other great fight of the night last week was Caleb Plant against Canelo Alvarez. Uh, pretty much already knew Canelo was going to win, but shout out to Caleb Plant. He gave up a good-ass fight. Um, I got the round wrong. I had called it in six, um, and Caleb Plant wound up lasting 11. But to be honest, Canelo, he can go ahead and retire right now, and he's going to go down as one of the best. He, he can retire right now because he's just on a whole other level. He is, in my opinion, he is just God tier right now. Like, I don't see anybody. Floyd Mayweather will go down as his, as his only loss when it's all said and done. Unless he pulls some shit like he's trying to fight well into his 50s. That man, ain't nobody beating that man. That man is God tier. He's ahead of everybody. He, pretty much nobody else. There's nobody else that's, unless he tries to go up even higher, which I don't recommend him doing. But even if he, if he were to go way higher... Um, that's the only way I see him taking it out is taking a super risk and you can't even you can't even uh, Blame him for wanting to do something like that because uh, you know, everybody's calling for David Benavidez who has a fight next week, which we will break that down um, but uh, Yeah, I don't see anybody yet. David Benavidez. I don't think he's gonna be any competition for him uh, The Charlo brothers. I don't see the Charlo brothers um, being competition for him um uh, Triple G, look, man, I love Triple G. You can say what you want. He, look, either one of those won both of their fights. At, at the end of the day, Canelo went down with, uh, he got the W's. Um, and at this point, Triple G, as much as I loved him back then and I wanted to see him beat Canelo, he's been too act inactive and he's gotten really, really old and slow. He did look good in his last fight, but man, at, at this point, he's taking too much time off. I'm not really interested in seeing him. I already know he's probably going to be washed, uh, which is set, tough to say. He had a great career, um, great boxer, great guy. I love Triple G, but I'm not interested in seeing him against Canelo again. Um, so who does that really leave? I really don't see anybody. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I don't see anybody. Uh, I mean, he can he can call it a career right now, as early as as young as he is, and still go down as one of the goats. So, shouts out to Canelo. Um, but tonight, as good of a fight as that was last weekend, tonight we have the fight against Gabriel Rosado and uh, Jaime Munguia. Um, 
Jaime Muguera is the A side in this fight. However, um, you know, he's the undefeated one. I, I'm going to take Rosado in this one in an upset. I'm going to take Rosado. I like Munguia. He's a, he's a good fighter, very technically sound, but I don't know. I just nothing special. Uh, I, I don't see anything super special about him yet. He doesn't excel at one in particular thing. He's just good at a lot of things. So uh, Rosado, Rosado, though, that, that boy comes to scrap. He's a hard hitter. Um, I'm gonna I'm say Rosado with the upset. Uh, now, uh, oof. yeah, probably by decision. I'll say decision. Um, yeah, I'll say Rosado by decision. Maybe, maybe he can put uh, Mugia away in the late, late, late rounds, so like in 11 or 12, but I'll give Mugia that much credit. Um, I, I'll say Rosado by decision. Uh, and then we have Sean Porter. Next weekend, we have Sean Porter against Terrence Crawford. And man, the, the hype train for Terrence Crawford is astronaut. Um, I love Sean Porter. I love the way he fights. He's got a lot of heart. He's very scrappy. He is not afraid to throw hands. I love that about him. Uh, but I think at this point in time, he's nothing but a gatekeeper. Um, I don't, you could probably put him number three in the division behind, behind Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. Um, anybody else in that division is just fighting for the number three spot going through Sean Porter to get a title shot at one of those two. Um, the hype train for Terrence Crawford is astronomical and don't get me wrong, I love him. Um, I look forward to a Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence fight if and whenever it happens. Um, but this is going to be a good test, probably the biggest test for Terrence Crawford yet. Um, I think you're going to see what's really going to be telling if he can take out Errol Spence is when Sean Porter really puts that pressure on him, um, how he reacts to it uh, is going to be really is going to be really telling about how he can handle Errol Spence or if he can handle Errol Spence, because I, I really expect when they do fight Errol Spence to take the fight to Terrence Crawford. Um, and he's a he's got way heavier hands than what uh Sean Porter has so uh, this fight will be will tell a lot about the future about Terrence Crawford um but I'm gonna take Terrence Crawford to win Sean Porter's got so much heart man um I don't know the, the power of Terrence Crawford I, I'm gonna have to say Terrence Crawford um if he doesn't win by decision he maybe he can pull it off uh, if he gets busy fast enough and starts uh, putting damage throughout the early rounds, uh, starts doing that early enough, uh, he could probably take him out in maybe 10. Um, I know I, I can't ride the ropes and pick both. So I'm going to go... I'll go Terrence Crawford in 10. And then uh, after that, uh, the following year, uh, I mean, uh, the following weekend is going to be uh, Cambosos against uh, Teofimo Lopez. Um... So finally, 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 we're going to see Teofimo Lopez fighting after he beat uh, Lomachenko, Vasily Lomachenko, for the title. At that time, I was a fan of uh, Lopez, of Teofimo Lopez. But now, I mean, just too much stuff has happened. And his dad does a lot of yapping. And a lot of the times, whenever the dads or the trainers are doing a lot of the yapping, that shit kind of turns me off. Um, and Cambosos ain't no pushover. A lot of people thinking Theofimo Lopez was uh, cherry picking for casual fans. They may not know Cambosos. Th that boy can scrap. Um, I I'll still take, I, I just want to, I'll probably take Theofimo Lopez um, in that fight. Um, I know he surprised Lomachenko. And to be honest, I think he could probably beat Lomachenko again. I just think Lomachenko is too small for Lopez. Um, but I don't think Lopez is the top of that division at, by, by any means. I think Tank Davis is the top of that division. I do take Theofimo Lopez to come out, um, out, out of it tonight, but it's going to be a war. It's going to be a war, and I think that fight or tonight's fight with Munguia and Rosado um, could probably possibly be the fight of the year. Um, so I'll say Theo, Theofimo Lopez, but it's going to be by a, a, a decision. I wouldn't even be surprised if that fight goes to a draw. Um, 
I hope not because I want to see Lomachenko get his rematch. Um, just because I want to see, I, to be honest, I, I kind of want Lopez to lose the strap already. I think Tank Davis or somebody, uh, maybe even Ryan Garcia um, or even Devin Haney. I, I want all these guys to hurry up and start doing their round robin and facing each other, quit ducking each other. Theofimo Lopez hasn't fought in over a year since he beat Lomachenko. And to me, that's a, that's a big no-no. Like, that's when I start losing, um, losing all hope for you. Uh, when you take that much time off, that's why I hate fighters that that take so much time off in between fights. Um, so I'll, I'll take uh, Lopez, but that's only because I want him to start clearing out the uh, clearing out that division, and we can actually start rank, properly ranking people in that one. But other than that, those are the main fights that I really want to talk about. There's still some other really great fights. Um, going on for the rest of the year, but those are the probably the biggest ones with the biggest names in there. Those are the ones I wanted to talk about. Um, but man, it, it is an exciting time for fight fans. Um, so I'll be back next week. Next week, we're going to be breaking down um, so far what's going on in the NFL so far. So we'll be talking football next week. I appreciate y'all posting up with your boy. I'm Keith, and you just got corn.